Peace is yours truly, Nefer Peacock Nubia, um, wanting to come and share with you today about the subject of nothing being certain or unchangeable. It's very important to grasp reality, and there is really only one supreme reality, that the only thing that is really, really, truly eternal is unconditional love. And we are guaranteed that from ourselves and our creator, and our creator lives within us, sometimes as us, um, us being made in the divine image and likeness of that supreme being, with all due respect to the creator that creates the sun, the moon, the stars, and all that is. Uh, I'm sitting here and reflecting on the fact that nothing is promised. No one is promised. Not your family, not your beloved, not your friends, not your job, not the fact that you'll wake up the next moment. Knowing this is the key to everything because it keeps you from being too attached to anything other than the most high and that unconditional love, that spirit within you that is eternal, that goes from this existence to the next as mere energy transporting itself from one place to another. I fall in love hard. I have fallen in love a few times in my life and I give all of myself in those relationships that I have been in. And I found myself in the past getting attached to that person when that person or I am like, we'll be together forever. You belong to me. I belong to you. When all reality is, that's not the reality. We belong to the creator. We belong to ourselves. And even if you ever do get married or you are married, that person may not necessarily leave you or you may leave them. But that person may, quote unquote, pass away or go on to the next level, um, the next plane um, and to the spirit realm or may manifest if you live into reincarnation back into this. Um, but they will leave and they won't be there. Once somebody has to go first. So it's important to be in touch and intact with loving that person, but knowing that the only thing constant is change. So that when that person does move on, you're not left feeling empty, which is what happens to for a, really often people go into depression and never see them again. Sometimes it ruins their lives. Sometimes they um, want to go on to the next stage. So they take their own life, you know, staying in a higher vibration. is what's most important in keeping us in touch with this reality, you know, um, drinking clean alkaline water. Um, bathing and cleansing as I, sometimes as I shower I'm like I rinse away all attachment to anything that doesn't serve my higher self I release all negative habits I release all negative emotions all negative feelings I release um, whatever doesn't serve me you know I release those toxic relationships I release toxic thoughts which is everything because your thoughts manifest everything and then I come out of the shower I get dressed um, I make myself feel beautiful and I drink, like I said, the water and I eat good food. I eat stuff like, um, look, the spinach and artichoke hummus. This stuff is really good. I like to let me put it closer to the camera. I like to put um, scotch bonnet pepper in it because I like everything spicy. And then I'll eat this with my kachi fire roasted um, crackers. Okay, and drink some water and um, don't have heart liquor, sporadically wine, um, some sangria, something like that. Red wine's good for your blood and other amongst many other things. But just really staying on a higher vibration, making sure that I meditate on letting go and detachment, which is something that I learned through studying Buddhism. I, I'm not a Buddhist. I study different spiritual systems so that I could take my spirit can receive what is for me and release what is not for me back into the universe. 
Um, I feel like that is the best way I read the Bible, the Quran, the Holy Tablets, the Keeper Nagas, um, the Zohar, a little bit of everything. But I make sure that my spirit blocks anything that's not true because everything I find to have truth in it, everything to have lies in it. Oh, the Metunata, I wasn't thinking about that one. So many books, the, the, the Tao Te Ching. There's so many different spiritual systems out there that I have used to cultivate my own spirituality in it, and it leads me along my own yellow brick road back to Oz. And I have found out that that Oz, that I was skipping down my yellow brick road, sometimes running, sometimes tripping, sometimes falling on, sometimes getting distracted on. That Oz is just leading back to me. Oz is me. You know, Dorothy went down that whole yellow brick path road and I interpreted as when she got to Oz, she went back home. He sent her back home, you know, and home is, is within its spirit. It's God. It's Zion. You know, it's it's. When you're looking for answers all the time out there, the answers are in here. So you can't go with, I mean, sometimes we do have messengers that come along and remind us to go back within, you know, such as what I hope to be doing right now. But the message today is particularly about realizing that, you know, you really have no, you want to want to think about it in reference to having friends or lovers that are going to meet, remain per, um permanent throughout your life, but you have messengers and you have teachers and you have people that you are sent to heal or are sent to heal you sometimes simultaneously. And sometimes they're in your life for a season. Sometimes they're in your life for a lifetime. But even at the end of that lifetime, like I said, they go on and you take whatever you've learned and you pass that along to your children, your loved ones, your friends, and so that they could pass that message forward so that it's, we're all healing each other because without healing, you know, and, and really being in touch with reality, you know, and, and really shifting our perception to think positively, we will not accomplish anything and we cannot teach our children or anyone else how to accomplish anything. So no. And, and journey with this message that you have to be your own best friend. You have to save yourself. You have to be attached to developing yourself and making your own dreams come true. Because like my father tells me often, well, he told me once before, and he used to have to tell me pretty often because I have a, a need and desire to always want to help people. I would go out of my way to help them financially, go out of my way to help them in any kind of way, and I would feel depleted and drained. And my dad was like, baby, you got this little bitty red boat, and you're constantly trying to take people and throw them in that little bitty red boat. But what's going to happen is your boat's going to drown. So you got to go across over until you get to the other side, and you come back with that yacht. And then when you come back with that yacht, then you can help everyone, and then you could teach them how to get that yacht. Okay, so that's where I'm at and that's where we need to be at. Knowing that by helping yourself and focusing on yourself, you're helping the world. And keep a few close to you. I'm not telling you to go in solitude and be completely solitude. If your spirit calls for that, which often for many people it does and it should, and you should spend time really getting to know yourself, healing yourself, stop moving so fast. That used to be one of my problems. I would move too fast. Do not really take time to spend time with me um, to cultivate that most sacred relationship with the person you spend the most time with, the person that won't leave you, which is yourself. Again, the message today is to learn that there are no friends, no permanent lovers. There is only love yourself and God be a be a gift to others be be compassionate with others knowing that there are other spiritual beings having a human experience really trying to figure out you know how to get through this thing because they weren't born with the handbook okay and 
knowing that when they make mistakes to be compassionate with them and teach them how to be compassionate with themselves as you show them what the problem is in a, in a very loving way, you'll see your relationships change and as you're more compassionate with yourself, you'll be able to be more compassionate with others as well. I love you. Lots of love, lots of peace. Um, I hope that you all are detoxing, uh, preparing your relationships, yourself, your health, and preparing to bring in this spring is here. <laughs> well, we'll be here next week. Um, the spring equinox starts, and some, like I said, says that it starts um, the first new moon of spring, which is, believes, April 19th. Check that out. And I'll, of course, will be coming at you on my astrology, astrology channel about the new moon. Be sure to check out um, also the cooking health and wealth, health is wealth um, channel playlist as well. Um, I'm cooking up a lot of healthy stuff, teach you a nice healthy recipes to make you feel higher because you eat better, you live better, you feel better. I promise. Okay. One love, peace, peace, peace. And I hope to attract more beautiful, um, conscious, loving-minded individuals and people who really need healing as we heal each other. Okay. It's not about one. It's about us all. I love you again. Peace.